In today's video, we will look at the new View Manager in the Visual Lighting software. We'll cover how to create, update, save and delete views, as well as how to use those views in the print editor. For Visual Lighting 2020, the View Manager was moved to the left side panel in the, under the Projects tab and above the Design Manager. The Projects tab is the default tab for visual lighting. When you run a calculation, it will switch over to the Audit tab if an audit is found. To change back, simply click the Projects tab. The View Manager includes a mini toolbar with four buttons and a Views list. The first icon saves a new view. This will save a view using the current design environment settings layer status, and view mode such as rendered or wireframe. In my design, I have the project in a wireframe southeast view. When I click New View, I'll be prompted to enter the name for the view or I can leave it as the default name. The best practice is to name it something descriptive so you can quickly refer back to it. I'll name this view SE Wireframe. After rendering the design, I've changed from a wireframe southeast view to a rendered southwest view. Once again, I'll click the new view icon and enter the name SW Render. Let's reset the design environment to a plan view. By clicking either saved view, you can see that the design environment returns to the saved viewing direction, display mode, and layer settings. You can swap between save views to quickly evaluate your design. You can even save changes to the luminaires and calculation zones. In this example, I'm looking at the wireframe plan view, but I need to get emergency calculations. First, I'm going to copy the existing calculation zone. Since we're copying an existing calculation zone, and placing it in the same location, I'm left clicking to set the base point, and then left clicking again to set the destination point. Then using the design manager, I'm going to rename the copy to emergency, and then select the existing calculation zone, and set it to calculate no and visible no. Next, I'm going to click on the fixtures I don't want to contribute to the emergency calculations and change them also to Calculate No and Visible No. I will then run the calculations and save a new view called SE Emergency. If we toggle to the SE wireframe view, you can see that the fixtures and calculation zones change based on how we saved the view. The next button is to update the selected view. This will update the selected view to the new design environment settings and overwrite the previous view. Because clicking on a view sets the design environment to the selected view, we recommend you click the view you want to update first and then make your changes to the design. For instance, I've decided that instead of a southwest view of the render, I really want to see a northwest view and I want to zoom in slightly. First I will click the SW render view, then I will change the design environment to my new settings. Next I will click the update selected view. To avoid any confusion I'm going to right click the view from the list and change the name to NW render. The next button is to save view to file. When I click this button, I can save the current view as a JPEG, PNG, or bitmap to your computer. Saving your view to your desktop allows you to send the view to others or add it to your own documentation. The 
last button is delete view, so I can remove a view I no longer need. Saved views are available in the print editor to insert onto a page. In Visual Lighting 2020, the views can be accessed from an icon. Clicking the Views button will display all of the saved views as well as the current view, which will insert your design environment at the current moment. You must use a saved view to add shaded or rendered images to the page. One thing to keep in mind is that views are raster images, so when you zoom in, you may lose some detail. For a wireframe and plan view of your design, we recommend using a drawing. With drawings, you can increase the size and the program will render it so that it remains clear no matter how large you make it. Let's say you have your project already built and your print editor page is done when you find out that you need to make some changes to the design. Luckily, changes you make to the overall design will update automatically. So if you were to delete this section, the views will automatically update to show those changes. I also updated the 3D render to be in perspective mode so we can see inside the building. And after updating the view, when I reopen the print editor, you can see that the updated view has replaced the previous image. Remember to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new instructional videos and updates. And if you have any questions or comments, please contact us at support at visual-3d.com.